You wanna keep it real. You know the deal. Keep you up on yeah. It won't be the same. Say what's in that clean call. What's in that clean call? What's in that clean call? What's in that clean call? What's in that clean Advice from a fuck boy. Ladies and gentlemen, you tuned in to a new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. This is your favorite fuckboy, Clint Coley, a.k.a. the Gallus Dem Shaga, a.k.a. the People's Champion, a.k.a. the hardest working man in show business, a.k.a. Mr. Herm's son. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, man, brand new episode. Before we get into the episode, you know I got to talk my shit. This episode is now brought to you by The Last Couple Standing Game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The, a black-owned business is now the, the main motherfuckers in this podcast. Excuse me for calling y'all mother effers. I'm high, but people going to buy your shit because that's what we do here. We support each other. The Last Couple Standing. Dope ass game. All right. You can get the you can get the game. Link in my bio, www.lastcouplestanding.co. Now let me tell you about this game real quick, Greg. All right. First of all, I got my man Greg Wayans in the building. I'll introduce him in a second, though. I just kind of did, but I'll give him a better introduction. Greg, this game is wild, bro. So, so you and your lady against another team, them and they lady. You're asking the other team questions, right? Trying to get them to not be able to answer the question. But these questions are toxic. Mm -hmm. Asking questions like, yo, is our sex your best sex? But you got to get them to answer that shit. <laughs> Can you imagine? You don't know how the other couple is going to react to this. This is violence, in my opinion. That's choosing violence. Yeah. It's a, but it's a it's a very fun game, and it's better when you drink. So, But my thing is, I think people who, who want this game or people who should get this game are honestly people who not even just enjoy game nights, but like literally like like having real conversations at a game night. Like you ever you ever be at a game night with like other like men and women and then it gets into a debate. It don't get heated, but it's like a great conversation to really see what the fuck you dealing with. Yeah, every time. So like like you ask a quite like one of the questions on there was, uh, um, you know, would you hold you know would you hold your partner down if they got locked up? Mm. Now, I think that's a pretty easy question for a lot of people, right? But there was one girl that I was talking to one time, and her 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 def, her idea was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna ride with my man till till the wheels fall off." And I'm like, "Bitch, you dumb." You know what I mean? But like, I'm not saying, but like, I do look at her differently for that. I think we should have these conversations. Make sure you guys go get to see he over here confused and perplexed. No, man, because the, I feel like you didn't finish the question. The, the well, there, there's more. There, well, there was like it was multiple choice. Is it would you do one? Would you do six months? Would you do a year? That's, would you do five years? Or would or yeah. that, like what's your max for, for how long is the end of the question? Here's the thing: if my lady got <laughs> locked up for being Angela Davis. My nigga, I'm riding with you. All right, ladies, I'm going to make that clear real quick. We're going to we're going to settle this debate right now, because we always want to be semantical with these topics and stuff like that. Okay, am I holding you down if you go to jail for doing for selling drugs? No. All right, I'm not holding no woman down who sells drugs. I don't support that. I don't support that. I'm not. I'm not. I don't need. I don't need to date Ghost or Tasha St. Patrick. All right, I, I don't want that. Now. If you go to jail for being Angela Davis, power to the people, fuck the man, blah, 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 blah. Okay, sis, I'm riding with you and I ain't giving out no side dick. Okay? Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm riding with you. Ain't no way my lady can be power to the people and I'm out here fucking other women. I, I can't do it. I'll beat my dick for that, sis. Um, yeah, I would. Again, for how long? I would, I mean, it, it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whew, uh, I'm not Winnie Mandela, my nigga, like, I would, I would do the, I would do the year, I would do the year. Like, all that build up for a year? Well, here's the thing, I think like, anyone can do a year. If you can't do a year, you ain't shit. Well, here's the thing, like, the power to the people, it doesn't carry a long sentence. Like, what is she doing, power to the people? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, a, a power, you getting locked up, like, on some Dr. Oh. King shit, that doesn't carry out a 25-year sentence, my girl. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like that carries out maximum three years. You're a strategic lover. I'm just honest. Like, but if my chick is going to jail for drugs, my nigga, I'm not, I'm not, I'm good. Especially yeah. if I ain't know, because if I know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dating you. Mm. But like, if this, you know, yeah, no, I'm not riding with the wheels. I, I, I have a girl. I told my girl, 
I don't think she's lasting more than two years. I told her that to her face. <laughs> I told her that to her face. She, and she was trying to like give her rebuttal. I, I didn't even hear her. When yeah. she was done talking, I just said, you can't. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Well, that wasn't the point of this conversation. We, uh, not you, your story. I'm talking about my story, our story, all that shit to be said. Please, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys go follow The Last Couple Standing at The Last Couples Standing on Instagram. And please make sure you guys, man, yo, get a game, all right? Y'all be buying all the white-owned games. Get you a black-owned game. If I come over your house, if I come to your city, because I'm going to cities, like when this episode come out, Portland, the show is tomorrow. All right, the first show already, I mean, the second show already sold out. So we we got to, we had to add a six thirty show. I had to add a six thirty show. We had to add a happy hour show. I'm gonna be drunk. <laughs> Fuck it. We doing the show Portland, April fourteenth. Come on through. I want both shows sold out. Both of them sold out. Not just one. Both of them. Let's do this. Now, also don't forget Indianapolis, April 27th. And also don't forget St. Louis, April 28th. I had to add a show in St. Louis too. I had to add a show in St. Louis. So the first show was sold out. St. Louis, the 10 p.m. show now we're doing. This nigga working. Come on, man. Sell me out. I want to I want to go back to back in Portland, and I want to go back to back in St. Louis. All right? That's what I want to do. We call that going back to back. You sell out two shows in the night, and we call that going back to back. Portland. I want to go back to back, April 14th. And then uh, Indianapolis, you just selling out one show. I, I'm cool with that. And then St. Louis, we added the second show, back to back. Sell it out. Sell it out. All right. Greg. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, man, I apologize. On this podcast, again, the last time he was on this podcast, we had a really good conversation about beating up boyfriends. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good friend of mine in the industry, man, Mr. Greg Wayans, y'all. Hey, thank you. I, I was waiting for that introduction. You're welcome, brother. You 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 deserve. Thank you. You know, I've, I've leveled up a bit since the last time I was here. And so did you, uh, by the way. Yeah, y'all, I took two bridges to get to this nigga's house. Two bridges. Two of them. Yeah, thanks for having me back, man. I like this podcast space. I appreciate you liking the space, man. I, that's going to be like a keep, like, yo, I th- appreciate you. No, you appreciate you. No, yeah. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Let's have a conversation, man. Mm-hmm. Let's have a conversation. Um, You know... I was thinking about the friend zone the other day. I think on the last podcast, I was talking about friend, like there was a meme about friendship dates and stuff like that. Then I started thinking about the friend zone and I realized that both parties manipulate the friend zone the way they want to. Men do it with getting sex. Women do it without getting sex. Hear me out. Hear me out. How many women out there have you, you've encountered, have put you in the friend zone, but you were still giving her friend energy? You know what I mean by that? And what I mean by friend energy is like, she's getting the boyfriend without the dick. Like she's getting a guy who, 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 who fucking, who cares. He's making sure you got soup. You know what I mean? Like he's made like, you know what I mean? Like when you, when you got, when you, when you need a shoulder to cry on, he's there. Like Mm -hmm. my man, my man is, he's, he's your friend, but you, but you never tell him that you're not interested romantically. You be doing shit just enough. And I'm speaking my life because this happened to me a couple years ago. And maybe I just wanted to vent about it. Had a girl named Andrea. Yes, we say name on this podcast. I was thinking about this bullshit, Dre. All right. I was thinking about this. Had a girl, so a couple of years ago, I had a girl named Andre. We was dating, or we was talking. Like we we like, we flirting. Then we in the DMs. Then I'm, we in the text messages. We talking about we like each other. Oh, okay. I like you. Okay, I like you. Bet. She says, at this point in my life right now, I don't want to be anything more than friends. I said, I respect that, Andrea. I respect that. But right now, at that point in my life, I didn't want to be just friends. I wanted to be in a relationship, especially with you. Now, I said, yo, I can't be just friends with you. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to withdraw. So she says, so we really not going to be friends? And I'm like, 
No, I, I'm communicating with you that I know that the, my, my emotional capacity is not built for this situation for us to just be friends and fucking. And I like you. It can't. It won't work. And I'm sure that there's plenty of times in her life that she's removed herself from situations from guys that she's really liked just so the fact that she wouldn't catch extra feelings. But we're not going to go there. I told her I couldn't be her friend in that, in, in, that, in that long text message. She left me on red. Five days later, in resurrection style, this bitch pops in my text messages again. Sorry, Dre, for calling you a bitch. Not a bitch. We cool. <laughs> Yeah, shit for that. <laughs> we are cool. I mean, we're cool. My bad. I'm sorry, Dre. Uh, but um, but then what ends up happening was she hits me with like, yo, um, I think it's really immature that you can't just be friends with a woman, blah, 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 blah. Ladies, I have a question. Why do you forget your own rules when you deal with shit like that? That's an amazing question. <laughs> like, Greg, like, okay, let's talk about this, Greg. Have you ever been in a situation like that? Honestly, um, there might have been two. That's not a common thing. That's not a common thing with me either. It was Dre, and it was like, it was like that happened to me three times in life. Yeah, well, number one, I want to say that um, you sending the text, I feel like, was a mistake. I, 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 thank you! Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I, but I, I feel like that's something you Talk to him, man. Yeah, you, I feel like that's something that you should have said in person. You're right. Or, or even just over the phone. I phone agree. call. I agree. if I'm a female and I read that text... It's, it comes off a little aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, it comes off like I'm not getting what I want. Meh. Yeah, and if she, had she heard your voice, maybe looked into your eyes, <laughs> maybe like, yo, into I like you, Drea, eyes. Drea. Yeah, I fuck, I, I like you, sis. I like you. I think it would have been more of a power. I mean, I don't like you no more. I'm sorry. Not anymore. So. <laughs> sorry, I, first of all, I like the ad lib. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't like you no more. Not anymore, man. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that friend zone shit is just weak. But that's why couples do what they do. You get in a relationship, guess what happens to all your friends of the opposite sex? There you might you might like a photo. But you you don't really have that many. You don't hang out. You don't. You can't like okay. So now I'm glad you brought that up. Because I think women a lot of times like to act like men and women can't be platonic platonic friends. We can be. We can be. We are. Like I'm still friends with like okay. I have women friends who are married. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest, and to all my women friends who are married that watch this, the moment you got married, or the moment that niggas got on one knee, our relationship changed. I am no longer your best male friend. He is. Like, I, I mean, you know, like my friend Tanisha. I have a friend named Tanisha. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She has, she's, she has a boyfriend, uh, good guy. Known him now for about three, two, three years, I guess. Like, but that's that's her man. That's her man. Yeah. I'm not calling her at 10:30 at night no more. You can't. You can't. She's not. Like, we not. You, a, a, the, the last time she called me at that time of night, it was it was very bad news, like emergency bad news. Yeah. See what I'm like? You get what I'm saying? My point is, is that I respect the boundaries of their relationship, so that's why I'm I, I back the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? And she backed the fuck up. But it's not, It's it was never a conversation. It's like an understanding. You know what I'm saying? My point is, is that I don't like that, you know, so, so but but they make it seem like, can her and I not go out for a drink or for something to eat? If I'm in Philly and we want to hang out, we'll, we'll hang out. But there are rules and parameters to where that, I'm not, like, I mean, I could come, go ahead. Does the partner know y'all hanging out? That's he, the question. That's all. I, that's all. I, I'm sure he does. Are you? Sure? He would. I'm, he would. She wouldn't do that. I could. I could. I would. I would go. <laughs> listen, and I speak very highly of somebody's character. I don't think she. She wouldn't go like that. She wouldn't go out like that. No. Okay. Uh, hey. But well, now. But now here's the thing. Tanisha. Though. Yeah. No, she wouldn't do it. You saying it like the real one, Tanisha? <laughs> was, the, was she one of DMX's chicks? <laughs> It was. was a lot of names. Nigga. Was Let's lot find of... that. Somebody hey, let me yes, know. If this. He yes. does say my mom, though. I think he says Tanisha. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> there's that. Rest in peace, Mr. X. Um, I, you know, but my point is, is that no, she could even if she didn't tell him, mm -hmm. right? Is she really doing anything wrong? Here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. Mm -hmm. Here's what. Here's why I say it. If you're actively trying to hide what you're doing then I think you're wrong. But let's say 
he, you know, it throughout her day, her and I grab lunch. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's, it's nothing. It's really, it's literally nothing. Like, if she doesn't tell him, hey, I just went to lunch with Clint, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the end of the world to me. Like, I wouldn't be mad if I found out that my, my, my lady was hanging out with a male friend and I didn't know about it, only if she was actively trying to hide it. If you see what I'm saying? Like, if I asked you about your day and you say I did boom, 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 women are detailed. You know what the fuck you did. Mm -hmm. You know what you did today. And you, you directly left that out. I got a problem with that. Yeah. That I got a problem with. But if you just, if we just did, if I didn't ask you about, like, I, I'm just, that's just me though. I'm weird about that kind of stuff. But you also, you don't know like the, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't know the internal uh, battle or whatever. You don't know, you know what she wants you to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You don't know if they going through something. That's true. And that's but, the reason why she took lunch with you because. Right, right, right. You but, know, at your end, it's like, oh, yeah, no, my home, we just catch But up. also, I know my intentions, too, though. So, like, I'm not even, like, me and Tanisha, are, like, that, that's my, even if we were sing, both single, yeah. we would both be single. Yeah. And she's attractive. Like, she's not, she not weak. Yeah, uh, that, that, no, that matters. Uh, no, I'm just. <laughs> how many, how many unattractive female friends do you actually have? Not acquaintances. You want me to be honest? Yes. I ain't gonna say their names, but yes, I, I do have some unattractive. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, yeah, some of my friends, so, some of my co-workers. female, some of my female friends, I would not. I would nope. Okay. I'm not saying who. I'm not hinting at who. Yeah, no, you ain't gonna do that. <laughs> hey, you ain't stupid. But I do have some women friends that like no, no, with nobody's dick. I would. Do. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm not saying that she's. I'm not saying she's ugly. I just wouldn't do it. One of them is gonna see this and be like, that nigga talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure I'm. I'm somebody like that for women. Um, yeah. I'm probably one of y'all unattractive male friends. Like you know, I'm cool with. That. I don't give a fuck. The Beauty's friend, in the eye of the beholder. The friend zone is just trash. The, the more, the, the, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, it don't matter. It don't matter how you slice it. it no, shit is, it's trash. It's trash. I don't think, I'm starting not to look at it as trash, though. Like, Well, the friend zone is when you want it more, more okay. that person. Right. And then y'all had to just stay as friends. Just having and that's where, friends is not the same. And thing. here's my thing, though. I think the friend zone is a choice. The friend zone is a choice. All right. If you tell me you don't want to be in a relationship, right, but we can be friends, whoever likes who more should be the one to say, like, yo, I can't or I'm cool with this. So, like, in the situation with Drea, I'm telling her, yo, we can't be friends, my sis. sis. We we just not. I know what you look like naked. Like, it, I, I'm not your friend. I know what you taste like. I'm not your friend. Mm. If I if I know what you taste like, I'm not your friend. No, and then you can never just be her friend. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> if I know what you taste like, I am not your I'm not your friend. So my thing is, is that you know, she was we're we're not. Yeah, I, I didn't want friendship, but I made that choice. That friendship was not, was not what I like. Why 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 is it that I'm immature? Because I'm I'm deciding to protect my feelings. I'm saying I don't want friendship. I think it's a mature man to say, yo, I don't want to be your friend. And I know that I won't be able to handle that. But you know, there's a difference between um, wanting to be more than friends with someone and wanting to be in a relationship with them. Because what All if, right, what that's if, a, okay, that's semantics. Cool? No, what if she was cool with being more than friends, but she nigga, she, she really don't want to be in a relationship. Okay, she I wanted to be in a relationship. She didn't want to be in a relationship. That's we But was she willing? We to were be fucking. More? That wasn't okay, enough for me. Okay, then. So you just wanted to be booed up. And I she, said that and, though. I said that. Okay. Cuz I just said we were I, just I know what be you clear for the listeners. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she was, you know, So she was that Okay, so she, so you're saying I wasn't in the friend zone. No, you I wasn't was, in the friend zone she just didn't want to get booed up she was cool fucking okay you okay you, okay that. okay so now that's see, see that okay <laughs> now we oh, but, but, but wait a minute let's go back because you okay. you make a great point you make no no you're not wrong and it's very hard for me to admit like oh you think he, he kind of right you <laughs> thank you you said you said mm -hmm. you weren't in the friend zone because you were fucking mm -hmm. now that's crazy because i looked at it as you know, I was in the friend zone because I wanted to be with her. She was like, no, you're you're cool. I just don't want to be with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So so you're saying if a girl's fucking you, you're not in the friend zone. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Because there's a difference between 
putting somebody in the friend zone and just nah, nigga, I want to be single right now. You're attracted. I'm obviously attracted to you if I'm fucking you, but yeah, I, I'm good on the being locked up with you. That's all that is. You hey, were not in the friend zone. I wasn't okay. All right, you know what? I can respect. That's a great perspective. I did not look at it like that. You're welcome. Yeah, no, thank you. Because I, in my mind, I'm looking at it as we're friends that fuck. Like, to me, I was... I, now, here's how I looked at it. To me, I looked at it as I was dick. Because my thing is, is that she ended up getting in a relationship maybe a couple of months right after that with somebody else. So, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, no, it's not that you didn't want to be in a relationship. You didn't want to be in a relationship with me. You know what I'm saying? But I, but my thing is, is that if that's the case, then that means you want me to just be your friend that you could call when you need when you need advice and when you need dick. Baby, I'm more than that. I'm a full-time job. I'm not part-time. Fuck you talking about? My name is Clint Coley, born June 20th, 1987. Clint... Um, <laughs> look, friend, just friends don't fuck. I'm sorry. Okay. Just now, and and I can, and I'm, and fuck. I'm different because I've, I've had, I have friends that are just friends that I've fucked. They not just friends. You just y'all or <laughs> you or her. You just didn't want to be in a committed relationship. You can't be homies and fuck. You can't like like for real like and I'm not, I'm talking about what you see how you change the word <laughs> you see how you change the verb I'm, I'm 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 all in from I'm, friend to homie just like that that pass <laughs> no okay no for real so you yeah. can't be friends and, and and have fucked cause that's my thing you, like I have you, you fr- I'm not I don't have any friends that I'm fucking uh-huh. but I have friends like there's my there's I have three close women friends we have had sex before like and I'm talking like like. They got husbands now, mm-hmm. but we fucked. Okay, but we're friends, right? That's a that, but that's an after the fact thing. But like, yeah, no, okay. So you say let's break it down. Let's, it, yeah, let's just, please let's break it down in just tears. Meet someone, right? okay, okay. You just meet someone. You're attracted to that person. They're attracted to you. If y'all fuck, you are no longer just friends. Now, okay. making a choice if you want to get in a relationship or not. It's a different whole different. It's different, but. Until you reach the point of fucking, that's when you're just friends. But once you fuck, I feel like you can't say you're just friends no more. Okay. All right. Like, you can on the outside, but internally, if you're both, you know, depending on how the day is going, up for fucking, you're not not (laughs) really just friends. Yeah, you know, it's funny. That's why I did have a friend, but that's crazy. I thought I had a friend like that. Like, yo, like... I'm not, you know what? I'm not, well, I'm not going to say who it is because she told me to stop saying we fucked. (laughs) And like, because you got a man now and he he don't want to hear that shit. I get it. But long story short, my homegirl was like, we we were literally like, yo, I'm like, yo, what you doing? You know, nothing, blah, blah, blah. You feel like fucking? Sure. Could you go for some dick right now? (laughs) That's, I I thought that was a great friendship. Hey, hey, how you doing, sis? It's Clint. Yeah, could you go for some dick right now? Could you go for some dick? You know what that is? What is that? I'm going to create terminology. Right Please, there. right now. What do we got? That's not friendship. That's singleship. That's a that's, singleship. That's, that's when two niggas is single. When two people are living single life, that's when you can just, Wow, that, Greg Wayans, a single ship. Thank you. A single ship. That's when you could We're going to come back to that. Friends. Let's come back to that. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I uh, just inserted... An ad for my shows. What? I inserted an ad for my shows, man. Because I, you know, y'all be acting like y'all, oh, where do I get tickets? Motherfucker, I've been telling I, you, because they like to they like to listen in the beginning and then fast forward. So I get them in the middle, mm-hmm. tell them I'm going to be here, 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 here. Anyway, we talk about single ship. That's a great fucking word. Who out there is in a single ship? So a single ship is really you single. I'm single, we fucking, but I can go on dates with other people. Mm-hmm. And I can fuck other people if I really want to. Yeah. Just don't disrespect me. Meaning, disrespecting me, meaning, like, if you if we not using protection, I at least need to know what you doing. I, I need to know that. Uh, Respect my sexual health. That's what I mean. Respect my sexual health. I don't think that's negotiable. I think everybody's different. I feel like if you're single, you should be strapping up. But no, no, I, okay, I agree with yeah. that. But I'm saying some people have different rules. I don't. I if I'm okay, 
I'm not going in a single ship. I'm not going raw. But I understand. Smart. Everybody ain't got a condom every time. Some people. Ugh. I know you. Well, look, that's why I'm saying it because what I've learned over the last few years, because I've always been kind of conservative in this uh, in these streets. Um, hella niggas be fucking raw. And hella women do not want men to wear condoms. That shit is scary. So that's why I say if you in a single ship, um, you should definitely be strapped up. I agree. I totally agree with that. If you're in a single ship, you should be strapped up. But my thing is, we're going to assume that we all make mistakes and we all do things on this, you know, that we're not proud of or anything like that. AKA, and, uh, with some bitches, you just got to go wrong. Some, uh, some of y'all, uh, look, be, not even that you have to go. I, I mean, look, I don't, I don't want to buy about it. Look, man, I'm 33 years old. I'm about to be 34 in a couple months and I ain't got no kids. You know, clearly I, I, I I'm doing something and I, ain't, and I ain't the pullout method. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like I take, I take that shit seriously. Now, have I been in a situation where I've contracted something that, that was cured? and didn't hurt and I didn't know I had it mm. yes like you know what I'm saying and have I but that made me sexually aware to be like yo let me stop you know what I mean that was a wake up call so like I remember and I'll be honest like I think me and Asia was talking about this on the podcast and she was saying how she she got chlamydia at one point I did too And I, but I didn't I mean and, and I didn't know I had it guys have no symptoms blah 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 but old girl gratefully was like yo Clint like I got this 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 and this I don't know where you got it from. I'm not going to assume anything because the doctor told me it could have been in your system for eight, five, six years. You don't know. And my thing is, with that being said, that was my wake up call. Like, okay, this could have been a lot worse. Let me start using protection every time I decide I want to get out there and do whatever I want to do. But my thing is, sometimes you have a situation where you're you're with one person and you like that one person. And you're like, hey, we just went raw. Like, like never forget, me and this girl about we're having sex. We're about to have sex. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, I ain't got it. And she was like, look, Clint, before you do this, if you put this, if you put it in like that, that means like you can't, I don't like, you can't be putting it in like that nowhere else. I respect that. You can't put it like that. You, like, and you got to make, you got to respect me enough to make that promise. If you know yeah. you can't make that promise and you know you dipping your shit somewhere else, I'm not asking you to tell me or not tell me, but I am, am asking you, respect me, use a condom or we just we'll just end the night here and we could just lay down together and yeah I, I like that but see I'm used to being like in relationships so right. I'm, I'm used to the mindset of I'm only going raw with my girl. girlfriend when yeah. I was single I was strapped up with everybody because you don't. I knew that that was going to be for a brief period of time because exactly. eventually my ass going to end up in a relationship. No, I understand so. that. Yeah, no, no, no. And, and, and so, so, so some people really do just have somebody. And I mean, let's be honest, man. Like, you know, like condoms aren't the best. Nigga, they're, they're t condoms <laughs> like, is terrible. Right. He said, Even though it's protective. It is. Everything that protects you ain't good for you. That's right. Yeah, so I mean, well, it's good. I mean, well, it's, I mean, it's good for you. It's good for you, it's but like, it's, nigga, do you it either, do you eat the regular Cheerios or you do you, or do you eat honey nut? nut. <laughs> nigga, the regular Rice Krispies <laughs> or Rice Krispie treat cereal? Come on, nigga, I look for the purple box. You know what it's you know you, <laughs> you know, know what it is. The purple the box going, going raw. We gonna call it from now on. We are gonna call it the purple box. <laughs> the purple. <laughs> Y'all out here purple boxing bitches, like <laughs> nigga. That's what we gonna call it for real from now on. Like I'm yo, purple purple boxing bitches, um, and niggas, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But back to being in a single ship, man. Mm -hmm. How much do you have to divulge when you're in a single ship is my question. Um, How much in information do you think you should be divulging to people who you're dating, fucking, or whatever? What What do you think? Because how transparent do you think you should be? Let's 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 start there. Well, because we're gonna coin this phrase. Let's really make it a thing. Since you kind of. You you kind of drew a line. So if there's like a one specific female that you're comfortable enough, we're like with her, I'm going raw. Not the other bitches, but with her. Even though we're all single here, mm -hmm. with her, I feel like you you could share more. But for the other ones that you're gonna sacrifice that terrible condom sex with, terrible condom sex. I I think you might not want to tell them everything. I can respect because you can't tell everyone everything. And, no, I agree. What I mean by yeah. telling people things, I mean like. I don't mean sharing your hopes and dreams and your personal secrets about what you want in life, don't want in life. What I mean by like telling you stuff is like, okay, if you're single, if I'm single, I'm telling women up front, hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm not looking for. This is what I have the space for. This is blah, 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 blah. Some people don't think that all of that information does not, does not need to be divulged. My thing, like, I'll tell you this. If, I, if I'm single, 
and I'm dealing with multiple women, you're not going to know who those women are. You're just going to know I'm not, you're just not the only yeah, one I'm seeing. And, and you shouldn't. Some niggas divulge information. No. That's the stupidest thing I've yeah, ever. Yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> you sound so, you look so disgusting. Like, because that's, that's disgusting. Um, no, you don't do that. And honestly, honestly, first time around, they shouldn't hear shit. Now, if you have been fucking somebody for, you know, like five months, then yeah, you know, you can tell them some shit. But like, if it's like one, two times, I'm not telling they, nobody, they nothing I don't about think, you I don't think they the should name. know anything about my, anybody that I'm dealing with. No, I don't feel like you I don't want to do know that. the competition and I don't want to, man, I'm, I don't mean competition in the sense like I'm competing, but I don't want to, like, I'm going to give you a true story. Because that's when it gets messy. A girl was telling me, a, like, the guy she was dealing with. The other guy. As we're, like, and I'm just like, yo, like, I mean, I get it. We're friends. We're in a single ship. But why are you telling me about you and old boy? They love doing, they want it to be loving hip hop. They love that shit. <laughs> he said, Dude, I'm telling they love that shit. Men don't do like, that. Why are you telling me about uh, like and she's like and her defense is like, yo, we're friends. And I'm like, sis, I know, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm eating, fucking you. And I'm eating yes. <laughs> but you telling me like, yo, like he out of pocket, nigga. Yes. But like he out she telling me about how he out of pocket, blah, blah, blah. Listen, ladies, I don't mind you giving me a scenario that's bothering you. Mm-hmm. I also don't mind, but like she gave me like Instagram page. Like, I'm like, why do you think I know? I care who this nigga is. Yeah, see, that's some woman. Sh- I'm not gonna say that's woman shit because I, I I don't know if men do that. I, I I'm not I'm not doing that. All you have to all you have to know is do you know of any that do that? You don't know all the men. Do you know of any who do it? The answer is no. So you, I don't know you gotta any, go off I, that. I don't know any niggas. I was trying to think of anybody. Like, I don't know, man. Guys, we just be having a, a certain code, too, that we just, we ain't about, man. Like, we should, at least. I'm talking like grown men. I feel like we do, even though we're all different. We're we grown men. There's a certain different. level of re- grown yeah. men respect. Yeah. Like, the number one thing for me is, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to know about I don't want to know about another man. I just I just don't. And that's not on some insecure shit. No, it's just, just I just that's don't on some heterosexual shit. Like, he I don't said that's heterosexual. I don't like my brothers, you know what I'm saying? They don't tell me about the like I don't He yeah, said don't that's just know. heterosexual. Yeah, I, don't, I, I mean, I don't need to know. Like, you know, if we was just all out here like, "Hey, bye." Like, "Hey, yeah, girl." No, nigga. Like, no, nah, well, nigga. Tell yeah. me about your homegirls, but like Yeah, on. I'm cool. Yeah. Like, and I'm even cool. I really don't even Yo, and this may sound weird. I don't really want to know about your male friends either. <laughs> like, I, no, I don't want to know about like, and I'm talking about guys that I'm cool with the fact that like, but like so you telling me about him and his wife, why? Because they just love to gossip, and that's why I said you. It, it should only be that one that you're really kind of telling stuff to, because they telling it's in their female group chat. It's in that. They're talking about that. That's what they do. <laughs> man, I'm sorry. You about, you mean, women about to make you. About, I know. About to, they about, know. To, make, they about to be mad at you. For no, wait, wait, real quick. Last time I was here, did we talk? Because you talk about eating ass. Have you sniffed it, though? What do you mean, sniffed it? Have I you eat. sniffed a woman's ass before? Just just smelled it. Just on, get on all fours, be fresh out the shower, open the butt, sniff. Have you no, ever I'm not a I'm not a butt sniffer. Well, if you eat it, you need to sniff it. I'm just going to end. And has you, have you ever let a girl eat your ass? Yes. You like it. It was. <laughs> <laughs> you put your legs behind your head. I didn't do that. No, okay. I wasn't in the V. That's not why. <laughs> the V, nigga, you know the terminology. That's what I know, because one night I was on live and I was like, yo, man, this girl had me in the V. <laughs> and I was like, and my homegirl was like, yeah, niggas be in the V. Oh, God. But I wasn't in the V. Nah, she was, what she did was she was giving me head. Then she went to the balls. Yeah. She went to the gooch. Yeah. I was cool. That's where you got a head. Uh. And then once she went to the gooch, though, she's like, boom, boom. And I didn't stop her for like three seconds because I was like, oh, like this kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it felt great. Like, I'm, well, yeah, there's a spot there. Yeah. But, and, but it happened so quick. It happened, yeah. yeah. Why is what I'm saying? When they get to the balls, you gotta be like ready. Like, it's like right. you're on a game show hitting the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> it goes so quick. Bing, 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 bing. Like, yeah, crazy, no, she, bro. yeah. So when she did it, though, I was like, oh, wow, you know, and then I stopped. Um, if I was still doing it, I would say it. Um, I don't really, it feels, it, it doesn't feel bad. I just, for me, I don't want to be in that position. 
I just, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah. I just know, I'm gonna be honest. I, ladies, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest. And the way that it happened, I was sitting in a chair. Mm-hmm. So like, to me, that was the most straight way to even, tr- but I still had to lift my, my legs up. And look, ladies, I'm not one of those guys where if it's, it's gay, blah, 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 blah. Like anything to me with a man and a woman is straight. Now it, you could, for me, there's boundaries. So like, you're not putting nothing in my ass. Right. And I do not want my ass ate. Now, if you slip down there, I mean, yeah, I, you know, but, but like, I, you're not going to turn me over. That's respect. But I've never had my ass eaten since that moment. All you need is a bidet, honestly. Yeah, he get said, that, get you a bidet on your toilet, fellas, <laughs> and then you don't got to get your ass ate. That you nigga said, all you need is a bidet. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, but that it wasn't life changing. Yeah, but no, it wasn't. It was cool. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it, like I don't feel weird about it. I don't feel unmasculine. I don't feel like, ooh, look at me, my butt. Like, I don't feel none of that. I yeah. feel like I am good. Like, yeah. I just know my ass is not clean. So I just wouldn't. Well, <laughs> that's my next thing. So like, for me, like, I'm not saying my ass not clean. Like, I wash, I, I'm a yeah. three shower a day. Fresh dude. out the showers. Yeah. But like, I'm just like, sis, just don't. Yeah. I'm not gonna, cause I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna wanna like make out with, like, I can make yeah, out not. with her after I eat her ass and eat yeah, her yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah. I can even make out with you after you swallow. I'm cool with that. I'm not I'm not tasting what I'm doing. Right, right, right. You have to it has to go down your throat or it has to come out. But like even after you do that, I'll kiss you after that. Right, right. But like I'm not yeah, like I had a no now I had a girl try to like swap that shit and I'm like, whoa, 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 sis, I'll punch you in your fucking neck. Wow. Yeah. She was like, yo, give me a kiss. Bitch, no. What? Like while she had it in her mouth, she wanted me to kiss. She's like, I've had guys oh, do that with yo, me before. Yo, Clint different. <laughs> <laughs> Clint different. Ain't nobody ever tried that shit with me, man. That's crazy. That's because women be thinking I'll be open because I'm such a I'm I'm a I'm I'm a I mean I'm not forward thinking, but like I try I try to be objective. You're intellectual for sure. I try to be objective. Though. I try not to act like like I've never. I try not to act like I try to be open minded. But I'm not that fucking open minded. Yeah, yeah. That was that was excessive. That was super excessive. It's different. Super excessive. That's my- my boy J Ben, that's what he said. Different. He said, it's different. different. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I forgot what we were talking about. Well, I think we left off uh, something. I always stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I stop in, in in the middle of the podcast. We do breaks, <laughs> and I'll be adding ads, but I ain't adding an ad to this one because I'm being lazy. But I forgot what the fuck we was talking about. <laughs> No, we were talking about eating ass. Yeah, we went on a bit of a tangent. We were talking about eating ass, and all right, well, that don't matter. Yeah. Don't matter. You like what you like. Yeah. This was a good episode. I think it was a lot of random shit we covered. Yeah, you know, it's pretty much all based in sex, though. Relationship. Yeah, this was, Every this was, this was, yeah. And we were talking about friends on, like, so we learned. You're not, we, single ship. That's the new phrase. That's friendship. That's friendship with fucking. Friendship is friends who are fucking, who are friends who are fucking, who are single. Single ship. You're not, that's not a friendship. You're in a single ship. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Are you in, you've, you've, and how, you know. No, no, no. Do we, you know, you're, you got a woman. No, no, I'm not saying, are you in a single? That's a bad question. I would never ask a married man that on my podcast. (laughs) I'm asking you when it comes to being in a single ship and you've been there before, you know. What recommendations would you give people since you came up with the phrase? This is your thing. This is the Greg Wayans single ship advice. I want you to look into your camera. I'm going to hype you up, man. Greg, I want you to look in the camera. You you came up with the phrase single ship. Mm. I want you to give us the definition. I want you to give us how you would, how you would, you would do it and what things to stay away from. Give us your final monologue. Talk to him. The definition of single ship mm. is a friendship. Okay. Between a man and a woman, woman and woman, man and man, whatever it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Non-binary. In which you are having sex. Sex. Yet. Yet. You are single. You are You're single. You're having sex with other people. Now, if you are going to be in a single ship with someone, I think you have to have some rules for yourself. Mm. It's not. For, it's not for y'all together. It's for yourself with with anyone you're in a single ship with because if you don't, you're going to end up in a relationship. Ooh. We all know what that is, right? Right. Now, me specifically, 
when I was single and, and women hated this shit, but I did it for me. Okay. I had rules. Okay. No cuddling. No cuddling. Like, honestly, I, I didn't really kiss. Mm. There was no foreplay. No. When you're single, I feel like you should be able to do what you want to do. Okay. It's not about... Um, that was your rules, though. That doesn't necessarily yeah, no, mean that, that has to be yours. my rules. These were Greg's rules. These were Greg's rules, but you should come up with some rules, whatever you think you need, whatever you think you need to do to avoid falling in love and then ending up in a relationship, you do that for yourself. How about that? <laughs> I think that's a great fucking... Single ship. Single ship. I think we should put that on the t-shirt. I'm with it. It's like uh, when um, when Diddy did uh, bitch assness, no bitch ass. Yeah. yeah. If you guys like want it. a single ship t-shirt, let, give me a hell yeah. Let me know if y'all fucking with that. Mm-hmm. Greg, I thank you for coming on the podcast, bro. I appreciate you. It's been an honor. It's been an honor to prove. What did you learn today? I learned that um, I learned that you, Clint, are different. Mm. Okay. And uh, the ladies love you, and you remember a lot of details about uh, your past single ships. Yeah, Dre, I do. Yeah, Dre used to smell good. That was she was one to like really smell good. I'll give her that. <laughs> All women smell good, but, nah, but I'm going to tell y'all right now, y'all be putting on too much damn perfume, and we don't no. like it on the skin. Put it on your clothes. When we get to licking and shit, if we taste that, ah, it's mwah, disgusting. Mwah, mwah. Okay, say less. What I learned today was, hey, ladies, you are in a single ship with somebody. Enjoy that. Hey, ask somebody, hey, do you want to be in a single ship with me? That's what you should be asking. From now on, from now on, we're asking, can you be in a single ship? Do you want to be in a single ship with me? Yes or no? Mm. That is what I learned today. Greg Wayans, tell them where they can find you at, man. Um, at Greg Wayans. That's uh, G-R-E-G-G-W-A-Y-A-N-S. So, uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Snapchat. Um, say less. Yeah. All right. Man, ladies and gentlemen. on TV. Hey, you on fucking TV. You know? Ladies and gentlemen, Clint Coley. Don't forget. Greg Portland. Wayans. Portland the 14th, yes sir. Portland the 14th, 27th is Indy, 28th is St. Louis. And don't forget to get your last couple standing game. Don't forget to go to www.lastcouplestanding.co. The link is in the details of this podcast. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. This podcast is over. Sell out those second shows. Back Damn to, back right. Back to back.